get them onto the stage right now. They're waiting just beside me here. So welcome to the stage, please. The cast from The Walking Dead. Who have we got first coming on? Let's have Chandler. Chandler! Give him a warm, warm <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys here. How's it going? Fantastic. Let's take a seat and next, let's have Stephen. <laughs> and finally, Michael. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. The Walking Dead. Where can I even start with this? From the very beginning, no doubt. Who's been in it the longest? Liverpool. Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool's been in it the longest. For you, let's go back. Uh, the, um, yeah, I, I started on the show when I was 10 years old, and it was the first season. It was really hot and really gross, and we're in the middle of Georgia. Yeah, it was very long, hot days, and the rest of the show was pretty much just more long. Uh, it is. <laughs> yeah. I, I started on the show and Chandler was 13. Oh, come on. Wow. What an audience you got here. Wow. Michael will be appearing every week in Liverpool. Comedy yes. Central. Uh, season 4. See, starting is 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> it's a really beautiful theater, though. Yes. Yeah. This is a nice <laughs> Is this a, where are we? What is this? <laughs> this is Liverpool. No, no. Oh. We know that. <laughs> what is this auditorium for, generally? Okay, guys, so who knows the history of the auditorium here? Who would like to put your hands up? It's at the docks, isn't it? It's quite a recent development. I don't know. I don't know the history of the theatre here. What sort of things do you get here? Do you get ballet? Do you get theatre on? What do you get? Pantomimes? Who do you know what pantomimes are? Is everyone okay? <laughs> Is everyone, anybody out there? You are starstruck! <laughs> are you guys real? You've got no idea. Okay, oh, right. Oh, good audience. <laughs> Hardware cutouts like this morning. Right? <laughs> okay, so you were in it from the very beginning, Chandler. And what was it like when you first got from your agent? Do you have to be cast for it or were you kind of headhunted for it and people knew on the creative side that they wanted you? No, no, it was just another random audition. I was hired locally, actually, which was a crazy stroke of luck. And yeah, so I got to like stay in school and be on the show at the same time, which actually school was more stressful than being on the show. But yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to just be a normal kid and, you know, come to these kind of conventions on the weekend and go to work during the week. It was fun. How many of these have you done? I've been doing these since the show started, so 11 years. Crikey. Yeah. And is Liverpool your favourite so far? <laughs> <laughs> the Northwesterners are renowned for their hospitality. Is that right, Liverpudlians? Yeah! Absolutely. And for yourselves, how many of these have you done? How many Comic Cons? I did, well, I've been doing them since I started in season four on the show, and then I. I think I started doing conventions after season five or six. And then I've been across for probably five, six years, minus COVID. And how did you take them initially? Were you weird at I initially didn't first? want to do them. Um, yeah. I honestly was, I was like, what do you do? You do you know? <laughs> and I was talking to it and they said, you know, it's about the fan interaction. And then I was like, okay, let's see. So I, I wound up doing one and it is. And that's why I continue doing it is because you guys, it's, it's the only time you really get to sort of connect with the audience, and not just, you know, with The Walking Dead, for somebody like myself, I've done uh, a lot of non-genre stuff over my career, so I'm meeting people who are fans of some of the work I've done before, you know, Band of Brothers, Southland, things that don't have... Star Wars stuff. trilogy, Star <laughs> who loved Michael and the that. Flintstones. Hey! Uh, <laughs> No, so it's, it is, it's great to just sort of connect with everybody, and especially the families, and, you know, you guys put a lot of effort into coming to see us, and we appreciate it, so it, it's, it is that rare sort of instance where you get to connect with everyone, so we love you. 
Fantastic. You're going to get your chance to really ask what you want of us as well. Steve, how about you? How long have you been coming to Comic Cons? It was probably with The Walking Dead. I mean, that's what starts it. And it's, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's an incredibly, I mean, like what Michael says, it's when people thank us for coming. It's like, well, thank you guys, because without you, there's no us, especially with these events. So Walking Dead definitely opened up this whole con world. I was in the same thing. I was, you know, sort of thinking, oh, I'm not an actor. If I do these, I won't be taken seriously. And why? Why do you want this picture? I don't get it. This? <laughs> but then I don't get sports. Like, people, you know, go to sports and spend money on that kind of stuff. But it it's makes the wrong it city to say that. I know. But, <laughs> but it's a great I, analogy. I've heard. But it's a great analogy because <laughs> both bring people joy. So it's like, who's to judge what makes people happy? And if you can be a part of making someone happy, like, that's a pretty fucking incredibly blessed place to be in, so. It's an incredible interface, isn't it? I did that's Gladiator show, which the Americans started off, and it would be 30 years for us next year. But when I first was asked to come to a Comic-Con five years ago, I just, you, you meet people that know more about you and the shows than yourself, and the love and devotion. So thank you to everybody who's come for yeah. my show and the guy's show out here today. So we've got half an hour, and I'm sure you've got a lot more questions than I can ask at the moment. You've got some mics dotted around the auditorium here. One, two, three and four. So if anybody would like to ask a question, just pop up to one of the mics and um, give us your name and then ask whoever you'd like your question. Number two. Number hey, she's two. she's there already. Hi, I'm Natalie. Um, I, I don't know if you guys still watch the show, but um, if you do, how do you feel it should end? Because obviously we're in the last season now. I, I still watch the show. I still work on the show. Um, I, I direct now, and not the entire seasons, but just episodes during the seasons. I am very curious to see how The Walking Dead flagship show finishes because it can't end because we still have Fear the Walking Dead yeah. and we still have the spinoff and we've been told all these things so and another spinoff so we can't find the cure there's no you know what I mean there's no sort of I'm curious to see what they do and they've had a lot of time to think about it so it better be good <laughs> you know, yeah, they know they're ending it, so, no, I think, uh, I'm sure that Angela and Scott are, have come up with something wonderful for this chapter um, to end. I just want that little kid to go, yeah, all day long. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes, that's nice. And thank you. Let's go to number one. Hi, I'm Maggie. Thanks for being here. Um, besides your own death, what was the worst death for you? <laughs> uh, for me, it was uh, Lori, uh, Sarah Wayne Callies, when she left the show, because it was like, uh, it, it was just like four, like it, that whole sequence just took us so many days to shoot, and it was just crying, like nonstop, just sobbing the whole time, and it was over my 13th birthday, and it was like the worst birthday ever, having to kill your mom, <laughs> like, really, really rough. So, um, yeah, that was definitely the hardest for me. I mean, I'd say when really I was introduced, or when I was introducing Negan and all of that took place, it was probably the multiple deaths of those characters on, over the course of a week. No, two weeks we shot all that. like six months, man. It was rough. It was pretty intense because everyone, I mean, like what Challenge says, saying bye to Sarah, it was now all of these people, and this was a family, and so that was a pretty intense, rough time saying bye. Yeah. Not for me, because I was just coming into it, but to be going into this group of saying bye to the, a lot of family members at one time, it was a pretty, uh, pretty tough. I think, to me, they, I think they're all pretty brutal. I, I miss, like, Herschel was a big one for me. Oh, yeah. Um, Noah was actually huge. I think Noah had one of the most hideous deaths 
on the show, but we didn't, this is going to sound shitty, but uh, he wasn't around long enough for everyone to fall in love with him the way they did with, with Abraham and Glenn, and Glenn specifically, but I think from a, from a horror standpoint, Noah had a much more hideous death getting torn apart inside the, the glass turnstile and everybody seeing it. Um, to, and it was done really, really well. Um, and he's, he's phenomenal. Um, I, I think it, all the deaths have their own sort of little place. You know, they're all, obviously they're... Some are pretty funny. Some are pretty funny. <laughs> some, some are funny. Don't forget the funny deaths, Michael. <laughs> Jeez. So what was one of the funny deaths then? I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. It's well, because that's where you were on that day. Yeah. Often, I often thought with kind of a, when it's drawn out over a period of filming, you know, what it goes on, what goes on emotionally. I work as a psychotherapist, and uh, obviously, you know, it's real life, not sort of real play, not role play. But I have a lot of friends who are actors, and if they're drawn into a role for weeks and months say on a soap opera or whatever, and it's a pretty dark place for the character. It's really impacting, isn't it? Or it can be. Yeah, definitely when you have to go to, you know, really dark places for a long period of time, it's, yeah, it's rough. But, you know, I, I felt, I actually, I struggled with that a lot when I was really young, but kind of as I got older, I got better at, like, separating the character and myself, and, uh, but it took, it took time and practice. Art. Absolutely, thank you for that. Thank Great you. question. Okay, let's go back over to number two. Oh, we've got some fours up there as well. Two. Oh, hi, I'm Trish. Hi, Trish. That's like a little three hiding behind there, just so you see him. Oh, oh Trish, that is the number just three. Stop for one moment. Hello, number three. <laughs> see, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Who are you? I'm Mason. Hi, I'm Mason. Awesome. Have you got a question for the guys? Yeah. Um, are you scared of zombies? <laughs> I'm terrified of them. <laughs> are you? And my daddy watches them. Your daddy will kick the crap out of us on <laughs> Right? Thank you, Mason. <laughs> <laughs>